Hello, this is DeMolta. Normally I do videos over the e-cigarettes or PVs, the vaping, um, but today I want to talk about something else. Um, I want to talk about solving the world diseases such as AIDS, cancer, Alzheimer's, um, mad cow disease, uh, food for the poor, and how you as an individual can help solve these issues. Um, me and uh, several other people I know have been using our computers for quite a while to solve this problem. Um, so as millions of other users or thousands of users, uh, the more users the better. Um, there's one program right here, right next to me, it's running on my computer, which is dedicated to this. Not everybody dedicates theirs. And this is folding a protein for Stanford University. Now, a protein more or less is a how your body uh, figures something out and when it messes up you can get something like cancer or Alzheimer's and um, they have got the human genome code but they don't know how the genome code works completely it's just a string and they call this folding when it's, when it's run together perfectly when it does not fold right is when you have issues now Stanford and at Berkeley they will send you the disease or protein and your computer will sit there and do the math problem for them so the more people it has it's like a giant supercomputer and when your computer is running this um, I mean it does take 100 percent but when you go to do something else it'll let go of that process power so you can't tell unless you're running like a, a really a graphic intense video game most of the time you cannot tell and it just runs in the background um, I've been running it for probably about a year um, sometimes I have turned it off um, it cost me probably about twenty to forty dollars a month in electricity most people can afford that and I, I would say that it's a good investment for our children of tomorrow and ourselves um, I will include the links at the bottom of how to install these programs. It's just a point and click. Um, you can join teams. So like uh, if ECF wanted to make its own team for this, um, they could. And um, there's lots of stat links. There's a lot of people that do this for fun and for donation wise. Um, I'll show Bionic. Berkeley's. This is Stanford's program. Um, if you have a graphics card for video games it will fold faster and you will get more points towards your name um, let's see here and this is Bionic see it just runs down here in the corner so you never look you never have to know what it's doing really unless you really want to now this runs off my CPU and right now let's see here human protein folding phase I'm working on help cure muscular dysphagy I can't pronounce that um, fight for AIDS and childhood cancer and it's just sitting here working this is going to take 15 hours for this one 8 6 six so you can tell that they're really highly intense <coughs> math problems now if you own a PlayStation 3 um, if you go over to the network there will be one called life with PlayStation and if you go down there it'll fold with your PlayStation it's simple you just click boom and it starts uh, Xbox cannot do it because it actually overheated. They wanted to. Bill Gates wanted it to do it, but the system can't handle the workload. So I would really suggest you do this. Um, I will also give a link to uh, our team tech power up um, and a link to our form board. So if you have any questions, to how to set it up, if you, because um, I mean. There, there are several different ways, but most of the time it's just point and click. It's just how deep you want to get into it. If you want to run a server farm of lots of computers, 
such if you own a company and you have 50 to 100 computers you can install all computers uh, it's a great way to donate thank you goodbye I hope you see you soon